Etiology of IBD. Inflammatory bowel diseases, or IBD, are a group of idiopathic chronic inflammatory disorders that affect an estimated 3 million patients in the United States. Only one third of patients are in remission with currently available therapies. Of those patients in remission, a large percentage lose response over time. Therefore, there is a therapeutic need for the development of novel agents that target a multiplicity of molecular pathways involved in the pathophysiology of IBD to deliver a higher standard of care to patients with these diseases. IBD activates the immune cells of the gut mucosa of IBD patients, resulting in an overactive immune response to commensal flora. This ultimately results in an innate pro-inflammatory immune response driven by immune cells, including macrophages, dendritic cells, neutrophils, and natural killer cells. A subsequent adaptive immune response is mediated by antigen-presenting T cells. T cells, mainly T helper 17 cells, have been identified as key effectors in the immune pathogenesis of IBD. This results in the recruitment and production of various inflammatory mediators, including cytokines. Dysfunction of both innate and adaptive immune response pathways contributes to the inflammatory response, and cytokines are central to the mediation of the cell-to-cell -cell interactions at the heart of these responses. A continuing immune response to commensal microbes results in the cytokine-mediated chronic cycle of inflammation characteristic of IBD, and challenges mucosal homeostasis. As a result of advances in the understanding of IBD pathogenesis, novel targeted therapies, including Janus kinase or JAK inhibitors, anti-SMAD7 oligonucleotides, and cell-based therapies have recently been developed. This rapidly growing armamentarium of targeted therapeutics has shown significant benefit in clinical outcomes in patients with IBD, and details about their mechanisms of action will be discussed in the following animations.